This is tutorial number 53, and it covers how to create telescopic parts and assemblies within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up a new assembly file. Let's click File, click New, click Assembly, click OK. Now let's view the origin. Let's click View, click Origin, and let's browse for the parts that we need. All the parts that we need are found on the DVD, and the parts are Telescopic 30, 45, and 60. Now with Telescopic 60, let's open it up, and we'll put it to the origin. Now it's got number 45, and we'll put it beside 60, and we'll get 30, and put it beside 45. Now let's zoom out a bit, and let's click wireframe. Now from the wireframe, you can see that inside of Telescopic 60, there's an inner radius that's smaller than the rest. And now what that's going to do is as 45 moves through it, it's free to move until the two radiuses are the same and then it stops. And that's the same with number 30 when we flip the direction of it. So now let's go back to shaded with edges and we'll begin mating these. Now to start off, let's click mate, click this tube, click this tube, and we'll make them concentric and click OK. Now let's pull this tube all the way out and let's click the front view. Now let's click this face. As you can see it's the face that sticks out and as we go around we're gonna click this inside face of number 60 and we're gonna go into advanced mates and we're gonna have to do distances. Now let's click isometric, click the wireframe so you can see inside what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a minimum value of zero millimeters and then we're going to make a maximum value until the part is completely in. So let's increase this and see where it's going. And it's going in the wrong direction right now so we need to, so we need to flip the direction. So now it's going in. So let's see how far we can make it go all the way in. Let's make it 1000 and that's too far. So let's change this to 800 and that looks good. So let's make the max 800. Click accept, click okay, click shaded with edges and now we've made the first telescopic bit of our assembly. Now let's work on the second one. So let's click mate, click this tube, click this tube, and it's the wrong alignment, so let's flip it, click OK. Now let's pull the little one out all the way, click the front view, and we're gonna click this face, and that's the face that's protruding out and we'll go to the back view and we're going to click on this face here and we're going to go into advanced mates and we're going to do a distance again so let's click isometric and let's view it in wireframe and we're going to make a minimum of zero and a maximum of 800. now let's see it at 800 now it's the wrong direction, so we have to flip the direction again. Looks good. Click OK. Click OK. And let's go back to Shaded with Edges. And we can pull it out and push it all back in. So let's click Isometric again. And we've created our telescopic part. Now let's click View. Let's hide the origins and let's look at it in wireframe. Let's look at it from the left so we can see exactly what's going on. Now you can see as we pull it through, it grabs one and then it grabs the other. And that's exactly what we want it to do. Now let's click Shade with Edges again, click Isometric. And that completes our tutorial on how to create a telescopic part with assembly.